Guys, for any cheat points, anything like that, FIFA coins, any games, anything you need, really, go and check out MuleFactory.com. You see the link here, guys. It is down below in the description. Use Owen FIFA at checkout. As you can see, they sell loads of different coins, ranging from like 2K if you need a few little coins just to start trading, maybe. Or there are big amounts, like you go down here, like you see, 150K or whatever. They are cheap prices, guys. Obviously, right now prices are quite high due to FIFA just coming out. But make sure you check them out, guys, in the description and use Owen FIFA for a discount. Hey guys, what is going on today? Welcome back to a brand new video, guys. Today I'm going to be showing you basically how to trade with silver players. There are a few little ways that you can do it, and certain players that are good to trade with. So, um, we want to start off here now. You can see I do have like 1.1 mil now. Trading has been going pretty well. And just before we do start this video, guys, thanks so much for the recent support. Um, we're getting quite a few new subs as well, so thank you for that. And of course, all of the other um, help and everything you guys have had from me in the comments section. Thanks for all the thank yous and whatever. It's appreciated, of course. You can do here now, like you see, like a Dharma Traore. Players like this give for 12k. You can probably get them on buy now, so cheaper. Like, it'll just involve cycling through players. So players like Traore, um, Daniel James as well, you'll see here. Um, we'll show you his price, I think he's like 6k, something like that. I'm going to show you a couple of different ways of how to trade with him. If you do like his guys, do leave a like. And if you do want to see more trading with silvers, let me know and I will do it. But um, obviously it's just down to how much you want to see silvers. I don't know how many of you will enjoy playing with them. Um, like trading with silvers, it's maybe a little bit... Um, more difficult but there are profits to be made I mean you can see players like Ryan Fredericks especially this sort of time right now guys you can see it is only 10.58 and it is a weekday so as you can imagine profits won't be as easy to come by but when there's things released like um, silver packs that like, in the store like prime electrum packs where you get like I was like is it normal, normal electrum packs where silver players can be packed that's when it's at its best you can get some really really good deals then um, but you just see now people have kind of got covered on what they want to list them up for they're not listing them up too high which is a bit of a shame but um, obviously it's probably quite expected with it being um, only 10 a.m. there's more s smart people on at this sort of time normally and not people who just list things up for anything they like you see here like this Ziegler 1.9 this is normal price same with Che Adams I imagine he won't be up any um, yeah you can see they're around the right Jeez. There was one up for 1.9 actually earlier, so that would have been a deal. I'm just on foot bin. So yeah, there was one listed for 1.9k, so there you go. There's one of them that's a good deal. Um, we'll just check Foyf and Tamori, and I will go and show you a method that is pretty good for trading um, with these types of players. So 2-5, two, 2-2, two, two, nothing really there. We'll just check Tamori as well, just to be sure. There's no deals, but I go through like this normally. I can go through the leagues, and there's normally a few little deals up on the market, you'll see Tamori here has dropped quite a bit in price actually he was about 1.9k before so that is a bit of a shame, you can see it's about 1.2 now which is a little bit annoying because obviously it does make them harder to trade with and we'll just check Mason Greenwood just in case of any deals because obviously he's quite a hyped up player at the moment so we'll just check him just to be sure there's no deals, 1, 2, 1k, not really worth it so the method that I've been doing guys is just, um, so you can do this one first of all, Silver BPL and you see there are players all up for 350 but you want to go and put in like a certain position like I mean you can put in midfielder and just snipe them I mean 400 coins for this guy here you can probably sell him on for 500 but that's my budget methods what I've been doing as well is this so I've been putting silver right mid and then England you'll see here at England is about um, what 500 coins loads of different ones you can get some decent deals though on these so it's always worth looking out for them I mean you can also get obviously some decent rares and stuff same with the left mid um, if you look on this side there's nothing up here I mean you go up to about 700 there's nothing up either and we move up to 900 before we start seeing a long range of things so We'll drop it down to 750, 800, something like that. And you'll see here there's loads of 800. So this is a, probably where they best off sniping. So we'll go to 750 and we'll just search here. See if any do come up for the time being. But of course you can also do like left wing, right wing. I mean you see left wing there's a lot of different ones. Um, same with the right wing as well. I think there's quite a few. Um, it's not so many at the moment. Just Murphy at the moment actually. But you can see there are places where you can get deals. So 
Obviously 750 here, 800 is where it's at. There's quite a few different players as well. There's not just a couple. I mean, Patterson here has just been listed. You can see he did sell for that sort of price. So it's not one where, obviously, you want to go buy him. But if one can look for like 600, it's worth picking up. Even if it's sell for 750, but in the hope that they might go for a little bit more. Some of them do, that's the thing. So it is always worth just searching. Guys, I also recommend to try this more in the evening times or when packs come out that are silvers. Because a lot of the SPCs require this kind of thing, so it is always good. You can kind of see for yourself that there are um, deals coming up. I mean, you see something has sold there, actually. Um, it made the page shorter, so definitely something sold on, which is always good. Um, and then finally, you just go back to right mid here, and we'll just drop it down to like 550 again. And you'll see that it was 500, sorry, my bad, 500. Um, you see, there's only a couple 350. Look, we can sell it on for 500. It's not a massive profit. If you're just trying to get used to trading with silvers and learning prices, it's a really good method. And obviously, it is really effective, of course, if you do start to just learn the prices like this because people obviously do list up these cards an awful lot in the daytime. Maybe not so much, but definitely in the evenings. So you'll see there 400, but obviously that has sold, unfortunately. But you know, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this has helped you. Any questions, please do let me know, guys, and I'll try and help you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next.